New tonight, a local dentist hopes to ease fears when it comes to paying his office a visit. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how the Clarksville office is easing anxiety with a step away from reality. So you're at the dentist's office and your doctor pulls out a tool that looks like this. Most people would be ready to get up and walk out of the door, but with these virtual reality goggles and makes moments in the dentist chair a little more easy. Miss Lauren? I'm coming back. Yes. How are you doing today? Um, Lauren Sassmanhausen isn't exactly a fan of the dentist. I, I feel like I'm going to be in pain. I'm scared of the needles. I'm scared of, you know, all the sounds. In fact, her anxiety has kept her away from a dentist's office for a few years. Yeah, I'm like, what is that used for? What are you going to do with that? Like, because they're scary. It's very, very rare when someone comes in and says, I love the dentist. So you nervous today? Very. But what if you could be in the dentist chair and somewhere mm -hmm. else? at the same time. Anything in particular you want to watch today? Rossview Dental is easing some of the anxiety that often accompanies patients to the office. I don't want them to watch a horror movie or anything that's too crazy. With virtual reality goggles. What virtual reality enables them to do is to escape from those things so they can get through the procedure. Patients can now listen and be a part of their favorite movie with little distractions. So it feels like you're there in the moment. And it takes your mind off of everything else that's going around. You can pop those off if you want. You okay? Mm -hmm. you and for patients like Lauren, they're just grateful for the small things. I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. It's, it's helped me a lot. And I think Dr. Palmacki knows that. The virtual reality goggles are mostly used on patients who are going through dental procedures. For now in Clarksville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kimberly. Rossview Dental began using that new technology in January. So far, they say it's helped dozens of patients.